Okay, so non-uniform rides. This is going to take me like two seconds, and then you're going to do some practice. So, what if the rod? What if the rod is non-uniform? Well, we cannot. We can no longer assume that its centre of mass lies at the centre. We must have its weight acting at a different point, and we don't know where that is. Just as a reminder of what it means to be non-uniform, this metre ruler I've got here is uniform because it's made out of the same material. But if you imagine that some of it was made out of steel and some of it was made out of like polystyrene, it would be non-uniform. The mass would not be distributed equally. And the place where I would need to place my finger to make it balance would be closer to the end that was made out of steel. Okay, So the centre of mass is closer to the end that is heavy. So this one's going to take me no time to do, and then you're going to go and do some questions straight away. A rod AB is three metres long and has weight 20 newtons. So I don't like using red. Why am I using red? A rod AB is three metres long and weight 20 newtons. Now your instinct is probably to go in here and just say 20 in the middle, but we're obviously looking at non-uniform rods here. So let's read the rest of the question. It's on a horizontal position resting on supports at C and D where AC is equal to one. So here's C and AD is equal to 2.5, so it's saying between A and D. That whole distance is 2.5, so that distance there is 1.5, which means that this distance is 0 0.5, because the whole thing is 3. Um, the magnitude of the reaction at C is 3 times the reaction at D. So this one is bigger than this one. Let's call that one R. Let's call that one 3R. This one is 3 times bigger than this one. So there's only one thing I haven't put on on here. What is it? The weight. And I don't know where to put it. It doesn't matter. Remember, the maths will work it out for you. But you do actually know where it goes, probably. Where do you think it's going to be? Towards the right. Towards C, towards the left. It's actually going to be somewhere over here. And that's 20. Because that's got more of a reaction. So this distance here is x or d. I don't mind what we call it. And then we're just going to do the same things that we've always done in these questions. Best thing to do first, anyone? Um, upward forces resolve. Upward forces resolve, OK? So we get 3R plus R equals 20. So 4R is 20, R equals 5. Next best thing to do, moments about? Yes, why? It's the, right, it's the best place, but why? Sufian, why do you think A is the best place to take moments? Put him? Because of X, because this is an easy distance, and that's the distance it wants us to find out, the distance of the centre of the mass of, rod from, of the rod from A. So if I take moments about here, the, this force is acting in one direction and these are going in the other. So I've got 3R multiplied by 1 plus R multiplied by... 2.5 equals 20 multiplied by x. Because it's 20x, 3r times 1, and r times 2.5. So we end up with uh, 15 plus 5 times 2.5 is 12.5 equals 20x. So that's 27.5 divided by 20. What did you say that was? 1.375. 1. 1. But you're not allowed to give your answer like this. What does my answer need to be? No, not fraction. Two or three significant figures. So you could either say 1.4 meters or you could have said 1.38 meters. If you wrote this, you'd lose the accuracy mark because it's not, it's not been rounded. OK, so I'm going to go with 1.38 meters to three significant figures. 1.38 is where we predicted it would be. It's closer to this end than it is to that end. So all you need to do is... Um, so here we had an unknown, so we knew that was the right place to do it as well. You've now got a set of exam questions where they are all non-uniform. And then in about 25, 30 minutes, we'll do the last part of this as well. I'll leave this example on the board so you can write it down. Okay.